Yeah, I was thinking about, um, so like the Bernie bro thing and how that was kind of done to Corbyn as well. I remember when he first, um, I think, I mean, it's, it's gone down a little bit less now, but like yeah. when he first came on the scene, there was very much this thing of like, Corbyn is against women and Corbyn is whatever. And I think this is a really um, distressing development because it, it, it demonstrates a kind of, and particularly when it comes to like race politics and gender politics, it, it, it signifies a kind of um, fragmentation of like race and gender politics from class politics. So it's this idea that like Bernie being for universal healthcare, Bernie being for like single payer healthcare, is not a policy that is an anti-racist policy mm -hmm. or is not a feminist policy. Um, and in the same way that, you know, Corbyn being an anti-imperialist, I actually had an um, argument with Jess Phillips um, about this on Twitter, where um, she was kind of trying to smear Jeremy. It was when Angela Eagle was like being pushed as like his potential opponent. And he was trying to, she was trying to smear um, Corbyn as a misogynist. And I was like, if your definition of woman is outside cis, middle class, white, being anti-war is a feminist policy. Like being anti-imperialist is a feminist policy. And Jess Phillips was like, no one cares about war. No one cares about this. Like these aren't, if she literally was like, no one cares about war. And it, no, she said that in the interview she did with Owen Jones. And it was like, it's amazing how she can carry the feminist mantle mm. in like the Labour Party, but not think that that's related to being a colonialist, like being an imperialist. And I guess like what I really wanted to know what your opinion on this was, was do you think that the fact that an argument like that can be made, that like Bill Clinton can be called the first black president of the US because he played the saxophone, but he like mm -hmm. introduced like carceral politics that was like, has been hugely destructive to the black community. Do you think that's shrewdness of the right or the center or failure of the left 